Kenneth Lonergan's Lobby Hero takes place in the lobby of a Manhattan apartment building as cops and security guards clash. We spoke with stars Chris Evans, Michael Sarah, Belle Powley, and Brian Tyree Henry to find out more about this 2001 play making its Broadway debut in 2018. Lobby Hero is about the moral and legal problems of two security guards and two police officers in 1999 in New York City. I was interested in the uh, idea of uh, four people wearing nearly identical uniforms. Two of them have guns and are armed and two of them don't have guns and are not armed. You know, the play really is taking place over a course of four nights um, and uh, we just all confront all these things in the lobby. <laughs> this play was written in 1999 and um, it doesn't feel any less relevant. It feels more relevant in a way than when it was written. Right now especially it feels sort of eerily relevant. I mean eerily prescient. I mean in its discussion of specifically I think of, of sexual harassment um, in light of where we're at culturally right now it's unbelievable how um, it, it feels like it could have been written today. The cast shared what it is about Lonergan's writing that speaks to them. Kenny Lonergan is obviously, you know, a bit of a legend. Um, I'd also been looking to do a play for a really, really long time. And as a woman, it's, you know, hard to find really amazing female roles in theatre. Um, and this is definitely one of them. When you have total faith in the writing, I think, which is very important uh, for me, because then you can not worry about that and just worry about how to bring it to life the best way possible and try and do it justice. and. Um, it's just the kind of material you wait for and the kind of part that you wait for, hope for. I really am a jerk in the, in the play. I'm a jerk. I'm a horrible guy. But, but, but it's, it, hopefully it'll stir a lot of emotions. You know, I think that's the, the point of theater, to kind of get you thinking and talking. Yeah, hopefully it's not something you just kind of sit through and the second you walk out of the building it's just, you know, deleted. You hope it's something that stays with you. They also dished on what it's like to rock those uniforms. I actually had a costume fitting yesterday and um, turns out they don't actually make police uniforms in my size. So they've had to like get the smallest police uniform possible and then like take it apart and like put it together again into an even smaller size. Yeah, they're hot. They're hot. They're toasty. Uh, but, you know, it, it lends itself to the character. You can't help but sit up straighter. When like Chris and Belle come in dressed as cops, the intimidation factor goes up like 10 degrees. It really does inform how you move, what your relationship is to the people around you and um, yeah and we look damn awesome in them like they look really cool I was like uh, maybe I can rock this somewhere else I don't know